Welcome everybody back to some Kerbal Space Program today. <sighs> this is just an ongoing playthrough, not even a playthrough, just an ongoing game. Now, the last three weeks I think it has been, <coughs> excuse me, uh, the last three weeks it has taken me to actually get, not you, you. Um, that one. This rather eccentric station in place. And boy, oh boy, did that take some doing. Oh dear. But it's done now, so that's a good thing. Now, what are we going to do today? Let's see what we've got in the mission control. Um, still haven't done that. Still haven't done that. I thought I already did that, but I'll probably have to do it again, since it's a different mission. A satellite in equatorial orbit of Minmus. Satellite in a specific orbit of the Moon. Okay, maybe we'll do that one. We need a thermometer, a science junior, a mystery goo. This is Strutco. Seems to be rather complicated. Hey, Luna. Welcome, man. Welcome. Now, oh, is that it there? Um, stupid thing. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so it's one of those ones. And since it's a three star, now they are both going counter. The three star, I'm going to say it's actually this one. The green one. Let's have a look. Let's have a close look at it. We are doing... Okay, so well, that's interesting. It's showing. Oh, okay. That's because there's probably another one in here. Yeah, that one. That's the green one. So it's the other one. Well, let's grab these satellite ones. They're actually reasonably fun to do. It's a long way out, but let's do it. Attach new parts to a satellite in orbit of the moon. Hmm. Rescue from orbit. From orbit. From the surface. Those ones are quite fun. And the, the reason why they're fun is because you've got to land, you've got to land close, you've got to then pick up and then you've got to come back. Okay, I'm going to try that for today, actually. Why not? So we need to build a lander for the mum. Well. That's only a one person thing. That's a one person thing. That's the two-person thing. We'll go with you as a start point. Okay, so... We also need some ablative stuffs. It is under flames. Good, good, good. We need an attachment thing. Equally good. Now, here's where the fun part begins. It's developing the lander. I don't want that. That's what I want. No, that. Um, rescue, rescue. We probably went down here. Rescue. 
from the surface of the moon. Okay. So let's go with... Those tanks. No, not that one. That one. Because I think we'll use. Oh, this is going to be a problem because that's going to want to put six of them on there. Hmm. Okay, we'll go with four. No, no booms. No booms. I don't like booms. Booms, nasty. And in fact, um, that's not the ones I want. It is actually these ones. Boom's bad. Okay, we'll do that. Oh crap. Do that. No, not absolute. Probably push them up a little bit. Mm, too much. That'll do. I like a little bit of a gap. Okay, that looks good. Oh, it can be very bad. Booming bad. Booming bad. Depends on the game, of course. I actually lost my fire wyvern last night. I had three. I had three um, titanosaurs around my base. And I decided to remove one of them using the lightning wyvern. Well, I got too close to the base, didn't, and the fire wyvern decided I'm going to get in on this too. Yeah, well, it didn't last very long. Alas, poor fire wyvern, you stupid idiot, you shouldn't have gotten involved. Um, okay, now we need some mono, mono juice. Oh, actually, first of all, we need some of these thingies. Because why not? Because why not? Yeah. 
I don't know what the hell was going on with that. Yeah, it was doing it whilst I was what else I was playing too. I think it was just Twitch being its usual painfulness. Okay, now I need before I forget. That might not work. Oh, maybe it will. Uh, we're going to need a parachute. At least one, if not more than one. That's the big ass. How yeah, big is that one? Deployed size 2.5. No, 51. Yeah, that's the one we want. I guess we better put an antenna thing on this thingy 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 too. I only want one. Uh, can I need some solar panels just to be on the safe side? Uh, there's uh, 1.6, 1 by 5, we'll go with that one. I guess we need some batteries to go with it then. Hmm, I probably should put some reaction control stuff on here, shouldn't I? Put a battery. That's the biggest. Is that the biggest one? It is. I'll go with one of these first. Mm, that one. Yes. Then we'll go with that. And because I'm just funny like that, I'm gonna. that move to grab the whole thing and go shunt somewhere there because it looks ridiculous it's out there somewhere apparently shunt all of that up actually let's just find you boom yeah see that looks a little bit more believable not much but a little bit um okay now rcs we still haven't added rcs better add some rcs they're, they're the big ones no they're the little ones they're the big ones Because why not? And then because I'm equally silly, get up in there. Thank you. Now, um, point oh four, point oh four, that says one's there. Oh 
Okay. That might be Elena. Maybe. Maybe Elena. Thrust to weight is actually quite high. This thing would actually get off Kerbin here. Only 31 seconds of burn time here, apparently. That's atmospheric. Let's go to there. fine okay see so we've got a huge thrust to weight so what we do is we go bingo could probably even bring it down to it's set for uh, for the month so we bring it down to say there it gives us five minutes of burn time at about a two thrust to weight Let's go. Let's do that. 2.07. Five minutes burn time. Hopefully, that should give us enough. Now that's got to get us down to curb, uh, down to the, to the mun. It's got to get us back up from the mun, and then it's got to kick us back home. Will it do that? RCS thrust has got seven minutes of burn time at point one seven thrust to weight. Yeah. Let's just set that back to that. See, it wouldn't, it wouldn't work here now. But that's fine. It's not for here now. It's for way out there. Just like me. I'm way out there. Um, now, I suppose I better build a launcher, huh? Well, now here's a thought. Hmm, if I put a docking connector on this and put a docking connector on, say, the second stage, the one that will push it out to the MUN, that way I can detach, drop down, come back up, hopefully dock back up, refuel, to make sure I've got the fuel to come back. Hmm, that might work. Now, um... Hey, 
you going inside there for? Come back out here. Fine, you want to play fussy, sis, huh? That works. I'm not placing any part. Right. Thank you. Looks absolutely ridiculous, but that might work. Now, we need a connection point. Well, we've got the we've got the con we've got the connector there. I oh, better just tee these up probably. Okay, that works, that works, that works. Okay, so what we need now is maybe the fat one. No, not that one. That one. Hmm. And then that one. And then we want... Oh, which one is it? It's sort of part of that one. No, big one. Take you. this big pregnant blob on top well, I could hmm edit fearing no thrust fearing I'm sure. Interstage nodes turned on. What the hell does it mean? Interstage nodes. Dynamic over no 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 I want Oh I've forgotten how to turn that one fuel flow overlay thing unless that was a mod I don't know I can't remember if it was a mod or not however we'll stick with that we'll now go with That one. Okay, so we've got the connector on the side of that. Will it be able to? Oh, I think ooh, it might even be able to. That's correct. Let's see what we've got. A 
That's a big pusher. And that's that one. And it's burn time is oh nearly two minutes. Huh. Let's just limit you to say that. Pull you, pull you down to 50, say 50%. Because you'll be used in space. Now I know I've said it got it, got it set to for the MUN, but that is simply so I can see, which is greatly reduced gravity. It's still got a 4.5 throughout. See, that, that, that's, that's good. So in space, that should give me even more burn time if I throttle it. Yeah, see that's that's good I can handle that but I need to see uh, now figure out if I put a connector just somewhere on the side here it doesn't have to be anywhere special if I put it down here I can potentially dock that up to that because all this cutaway will help it avoid all this Let's put it in the same orientation so we can see it better. Like that. So we just want to draw fuel, and we probably be drawing fuel from these here because that doesn't act as an interstate. Uh, that doesn't act as a cross feed. I don't think, unless I actually manually do so. So that'll just give us a little bit of surplus. Now we will need. Yeah, we will need some RCS on this just to be on the safe side. No, not that many. Not that many. There we go. Put you in the centre. All top and bottom you. Uh, now let's kick you 45, uh, yeah, 45 degrees off, like that. And just from a power perspective, to be on the safe side, let's throw some more batteries in here also, like such. Mm, probably should put some form of control module on this. Just in case I'm wanting it. No, no, come here. So let's go with the lightest weight thing I can go. So either of those will work. That one, that's not a piece, that's that's the one. Either that or Yeah, that's gonna be our best bet actually. So let's just stick you there. And we're going to embed you. Just so I can take control of it if I have to. There we go. And then we'll take you, stick you on there. And we'll push you up as well. Just to close the gap a little bit. Might have to put some tyres on it in case if it's too wobbly. Okay, so that is our lander. That is our second stage. Now we need the booster, the one that's going to get it off Kerbin. I mean, I'm probably overly complicating. In fact, I know I'm probably over complicating this, but you know what? I don't care. Because that's what Kerbal Space Program is all about. We don't have to care. We just have to experiment, try, go booms. And I'm sure there's a few people in chat who'll be happy to hear that. For me, I don't like booms. Not if I could avoid them anyway. Okay, so now we're going to go with... Do I have a big one? Come on, surely I've got one that goes up. No, 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 that's down. 
Oh, the one I've got is... Not that. Um, that one's too small. Too small. That one's the small one. That's a reduction one. Boop. Boop. Okay. That's easy fixed. We don't use it. This is insane. Okay, so the main saw is our best bang for buck. Huge is a huge, huge amount of fuel. So yeah, 13, 1372 and 1500 as opposed to, yeah, like a third of that. Mm, half of that? I don't know, something like that. See, they're smalls. They might be usefuls. No, they're small as well. See, they're the small ones, so... Although they, they, they're quite useful, I think. There, okay. Then maybe the asparagus staging will go with that. I mean... They're not as powerful as that. Or as that. But I think that is as... 11.8, 14 point. Okay, very similar thrust. Well, half the thrust? Half the thrust. Half the fuel consumption. No, it's not half the thrust. It's two thirds the thrust. For yeah, okay, thrust. It can. It's about similar. Well, I know your boards. Well, you're gonna have to put up with maybe the accidental booms if the accidental booms happen. Mm-hmm. Now. 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 Uh, we must think, apparently. I'm going to need more RCS, more some RCS thrusters. So let's, let's start with the asparagus stage. And we're going to stick them out. No, no, no. We're going to protrude them from the sides, like such. Now we'll go with. Oh, they, they wish they had these in size order. We'll go with these ones. And that will be suited to... Hey, they think that I think they're too small. They are small. And then what are they suited to then? Those. So they are suited to the Bobcats. Well, let's go with the Bobcats then. Nope. The mainsail's too big. Too big. Is that the cheetah? Where is that at? Uh, 1.15. 1 1.5. So that's a better bang for buck. Um, 
1.3 is actually not bad. So that's rubbish. That's that. So, and that's ridiculous. So it's going to have to go with these. They are our best banging for bucking. We will put a nose cone of some sort of, no, not that ridiculous thing. Let's go with just the aerodynamic ones. Twos. Too small. Too small. Too big. Oh, make up your mind. That's more like it. Just to make it look ridiculous. Hey, Luna. Sorry, how you going, man? No explosions just yet. I haven't actually finished building the, the missile. I mean, I mean the rocket yet. You demand more Jeb. Well, I don't want to kill Jeb again. <gasps> did I just admit I killed Jeb? Yes, actually, as a matter of fact, I did. That will put you up higher. Otherwise, you'll interfere. Stick you right down. Oh, I just realised something I needed to do that. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Now, where's that one? Um, this one. Take you. Okay. Clone. Close enough. Yeah, not doing too bad, man. Not too bad at all. Um, aside for, of course, of having to, you know, do the usual uh, worky worky. Wakey, sleepy, wakey, wakey, sleepy thing. Yeah. Life. That's always a bit of a pain. No, we'll go you down to there. We'll bring you down to there. Okay. Reasonable. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fuel. Piping, we come from you to you. We come from you to, oh, okay, down there, you. Now, have I got staging right? I don't have staging right, that's my problem. Yeah, see, they need to be swapped around. Go, that way. That one first, ooh, okay. Actually, thrust away is looking pretty good. And then that, they're all in a positive, so it means I might actually sort of go upwards. First go. And then that one. And that. Yeah, maybe. I'm not going to hold my breath. I'll probably die first. Uh, we will put some of these fabulous things down here. Because why not? Uh, what's a missile? I mean, a rocket without actually fins on it. Oh, and for added stability, I better actually do this. I'll have the 
the Kerbal Space Union objecting if I don't put some stability into these things. I mean, we wouldn't want Jebediah to get shook up or nothing, although he'd probably enjoy it. He'd probably sit there and cackle with glee. And... Hmm, the scary thought is that actually might almost be ready for a test launch. I'm probably forgotten something. So we go, um, man, rescue lander. Version one, of course, because we we'll always have to version these things. Um, I better put some of these things on here. It might sort of flap around like a f floppy fish if I don't. It's actually sitting up awful high, but. Yeah, that's better. Oh well, let's see if we booms or if we flies. It sort of sits steady on the land and pad, launching pad. Oh, that's what I forgot. Revert flight back to vehicle assembly. Or disassembly? No, no, we don't want uncontrolled disassembly. Crew. Bill Rackoff. Jeb. You can take a back seat. Valentina, you need the experience. You're getting it. Try that again. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's looking amazing. The canyon and the, the desert area she's working on at the moment is just looking absolutely astounding. It really is. Um, and that's just one very, very, very small portion of what we're working on. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, okay, so we want that and we want that. And we want that. <sighs> okay, folks. Let's see, we go Bumsu, we go Absa, or we go Nowhere's. Oh, okay, it's going up, albeit very, very slowly. Probably need some solid boosters or something. We haven't even gotten a kilometer up yet, and we're nearly halfway through one of our stages. Are the voyages of Jebediah Kerbin. Well, we're still going up. Yeah, six kilometers and slowly climbing. Yeah, well I'm playing around with the, um, the plugins at the moment to make the underwater stuff happen and unfortunately the system needs some code edits on the buoyancy controller, the 
because at the moment the buoyancy controller doesn't work with five. But other than that, I've gotten the water and everything else and schooling fish and all that sort of stuff working under five, which is pretty neat. But once we can get buoyancy controller working, it'll be good. I don't know how successfully we're even going to get into orbit here, to be honest. I only barely hit apoapse into orbit, so... We can actually start pushing a bit more sideways now, I guess. But we're down to half fuel reserves on the primary booster. But we've got the secondary stage there, I guess. Well, I always put some RCS boost into it. There we go. Let's, let's just kick with the RCS as well. Surely that's got to help. Probably not by much, but... Come on. Okay, let's just do this because I think, yes, we can now, yeah, we can get up here and we can just do a tiny little burn. Yeah, see, it's only 80 odd. What have we got to do the wise? So we've got 1,900, nearly 2,000 dollar B. We only need a 10 second burn up there to, to bring us into a circular orbit. So we'll do that instead. Rather than wasting our fuel. True, true. Although the buoyancy controller and, and the system... Uh, they've put a lot of work into it, I will admit that. Alright, so let's just extend these. Because why not? That's what they're there for. Oh, yeah, better reset you as well. Mm, come here. Yeah, that'll work. Something like that. I mean, this doesn't have to be exact because we're only just basically circularizing the orbit anyway. Oh, that'll do. Oh, 
and we're circularized that's good enough doesn't have to be perfect just needs to be in orbit low end is only just in orbit but it's in orbit okay where is the moon set as target we are a little bit off kilter Too far. That's not, that's perfect. Yeah, we're going to try and do this maneuvering with the least amount of fuel usage as possible. I mean, I've still got 1,900 delta V in the secondary stage here, which is good. So three minutes worth of burn time which is brilliant i'm glad i throttled that engine back actually second burn oh I bet you this rescue thing is in a really weird inclination on the planet's surface betcha they like doing that I'll set this up and then I'll have a look at where it is Somewhere about that. Spot on. All right, let's have a look and see what's going on over here. No. Where are you? Yeah, see, there you are down there. Look at that. See, way right down here. Now that's there, the debris. So we're going to have to put a very eccentric orbit, probably something along these lines. Well, coming in, it'll have to probably come in up and high and swing around bottom side this way. That way. So, it's going to make it interesting. At least he's in a reasonable place to be able to get at, kind of. Target, that's good. Takes you there. Probably next orbit round, I think. No, we don't want to go backwards around it. So that will bring us in so we'll have to circularize and then oi, oi, oi. 
Bueno. Far. If we start with a little bit of an eccentricity to it, that will make it easier. Eight hundred and thirty-one. So that's actually not a bad delta V burn. We'll still leave us a thousand delta V. Let's just warp you to there. Something about there should be it. Okay, so it's going to take a minute. Oh, burn time is a minute and a half. Okay. Oh, it is about half my delta V, I guess. So. So 90 seconds, so 45 seconds, down to 45 seconds. Somewhere about there, 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 and it's burned. happens it'll happen fast it always does Looks good enough to me. Does a little hoppy thing and then comes back around. And there, there's a loop. <laughs> nah, he's probably happy out there. Yeah, see how it does this funny little pir this little pirouette. 
no, no, no. Stay in the stable orbit. I've put you in. Thank you. No, not in that one. Right on the edge here, it could go either way. Yes. Alright, so now it's going to come back this way. Get off. Alright, so we're, there, there he is down there, so. stick way out as in way out we're going to need to be able to go like that bang it off give me look go away That will probably that, that puts us in it. Now that's 530 delta V. Good. That's only half of our current delta V. All right. This is going to be interesting. Burn. 45 second burn. To put ourselves into a highly eccentric orbit. It's close, it's close. We'll make finer adjustments once we get into a circular orbit in the eccentricity of it. So we need to get down to the 20 second, 22 second mark. Go oh, away, Ed. There we go. So we need to get down to the 22 second mark. And I know I'm going a little bit over my regular stream duration. I just want to be able to get this into in close proximity of orbit I need to be in anyway. Stop there. Okay, we're circular. There's a start. Now just the eccentricity. Come, come, please stay on target. Stay on target.
that will do it. That puts us into an orbit that pretty much tracks almost directly over top of where we need to be, which is good. We can refine that, we can set that up. We've still got some delta V. Not a lot. Not a lot, but we've got some. But for now, folks, I am going to close this stream off because, like I said, I've gone a little bit over time than normal. Uh, I just wanted to get that into orbit and we'll pick this up next time. So thank you, everybody, for stopping in. Good to see you again, Zara. You need to drop in a bit more often or enter Discord or something. That's right, I'm not in Discord at the moment. Uh, Mordred, Luna, I'll catch up with you guys later. And anybody else who's lurking in channel, do appreciate you stopping by. If you haven't done so i'd encourage you to hit that follow button that way you can get notified when i'm streaming next and i do stream pretty regular you can check out the schedule that's listed down there as well uh, but until next time happy kerbling and uh, if things go boom make them go boom big time <laughs>